I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales here at Boot Dusseldorf 2024. I want to take you on a walkthrough tour of this Targa 46, so let's go take a look. All right, starting down here on the floor level, taking a look at this beautiful Targa 46. I love this medium gray hull color and the matching hard top there. Really sweet. This owner has chosen to make the lower rub rail go almost all the way, really, to the pilot house door there. And reason being, uh, this boat's staying here in Europe, but um, they wanted to pull up to a fuel dock without deploying any fenders. And he mentioned that you know, the fuel dock near his house has a lot of you know, grime and whatnot that he doesn't necessarily want to be on his fenders. So pull up to the fuel dock there. And on the 46, it, you know, it's actually pretty proportional. So just a interesting thing of note and to remember, especially on this boat, because it is customized in such a way that it does affect the layout. You can customize your Targa, personalize your Targa um, when building new from the factory. And heading on board the boat here, we've got our stern anchor and these guys must do some serious diving because we've got quite a substantial stainless steel dive anchor there that flips down. Again, you'll see quite a few personalizations on this boat, but what I wanted to do is give you all a glimpse into some of what Targa is capable of in terms of fulfilling your boating dreams. So huge, huge aft cockpit here, like almost too much space. We've got all types of room back here. These benches are nice. Love the seat backs, really easy to remove these um, and store them. Um, and then we've got this aft facing bench here that doubles as our steps to the flybridge. So really, really nice space here. Storage, of course, in these seats. We've got these side fender lockers here with drains. You check those out, two individual uh, lines in one, fenders in the other, whatever you want to do is possible. Love that. And our side boarding access here allows us to hop on and off the dock. So we've got the hard top here, the backup camera. This boat has Raymarine electronics. Uh, we'll do the exterior first and then buzz inside the pilot house here. Of course, big, wide walk around side decks. A nice inset step here to get up and over the gunnel. This boat has real teak wood all around, all the way up here on the bow, the side decks and the aft deck, swim platform, just a beautiful real wood feel. Got our oversized stainless steel cleats. Um, this is our bow ladder, so you can flip this down and you can have it down off the bow so you can climb on and off the boat. From here in Europe, they do a lot of docking and mooring with the bow uh, on the shore. And so that makes it super easy to get on and off that way. Uh, these are the mounts for our um, uh, sunshade. You can see some clips here on the side. You can clip in a forward sunshade here, probably some sun pads out here on the foredeck. This is a non-skid surface here, so no concern for slipping. And those poles are stored right here up on top. So. We've got a forward camera, the work lights, spotlights, Garmin GPS, this has the Raymarine satellite TV, our Volvo Penta DPS antenna. Take a look at all the systems there. Sort of nice to have them mounted there, forward of the flybridge to keep the mass clear and clean. We'll head up there next. And up on the flybridge here, we've got a lovely socializing space. Nice El Settee to starboard. And our two helm seats, forward facing helm seats. We've got bolsters here. This cover makes it look like it's got bow and stern thrusters, just a bow thruster there. This is an IPS boat. I'll show you a look here inside. 
So this owner, for whatever reason, wanted the Volvo D8 IPS 800s, which are a massive, massive engine and quite heavy. So this buys him two knots of top end speed, maybe three. And in doing so, our third midship stateroom here shrinks quite significantly. But um, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, take a look around this beautiful, beautiful pilot house. Galley to starboard here with these tons of storage on board here. Tons and tons of storage. This owner's done the more classic finishing style for the drawers and cupboards. And our galley to starboard has dual basin, stainless steel sink, four burner electric cooktop, Bosch oven down below. Got our isotherm refrigerator and just a really nice space here on the starboard side of the boat. We've got the ventilation fan, storage up above. This big U-shaped settee here to port, fitting you and all your friends. And our flat screen TV up above. There's nice little storage lockers here. And massive electronics package. These are the Raymarine 22 inch displays just creeping all the way over here. I love these. I'm a huge fan of you know, big electronic screens and this is fantastic. Really nice look here and allows both from the helm and sitting here at the co-pilot seat, I uh, you know, have can easily, easily see that port side screen, which is a very, very nice feature here. Um, shock absorbing seat here at the helm our wood grain, wood handled steering wheel and ergonomic helm. Really, really love the helms on the Targas. And of course our side access pilot house door. Um, again, uh, the side access and the full walk arounds make single handing and running a boat short handed. So, so simple. Um, think young children, dogs, lots of people or just one person this makes life so much easier to be able to step outside right outside the helm and we'll start forward make our way down below check out this awesome primary stateroom nice center island queen berth plenty plenty of storage these lockers up above And let's take a look at our midship stateroom here. Guest cabin. Now this is where we do lose that space with the bigger Volvo D8s. You get a couple extra knots of speed, um, but this third cabin does have a sacrifice to it. So we do have a nice berth there. Checks the box. It's really, I guess I would say, in uh, my opinion, more of a laundry room. So we do have the uh, washer dryer there. This is essentially my fuel tank right here. So imagine that Billy uh, a few feet that way We have storage up above kind of gives you an idea, you know, probably four feet uh, More which is every inch counts on a boat and when you're talking feet, that's a big deal This midship stateroom. This is what the 46 is all about and on a 46 foot, foot boat that cruises at 30 knots 28 knots 35 knots to be able to have three staterooms on a boat of that size that goes that fast is um, pretty crazy. So uh, families with a bunch of kids, this, uh, this boat checks quite a few boxes here. So nice big broad stairway down below to the aft cabin and really clever. So this berth, this single berth, great for kids, but we want the parents to have some privacy and this door uh, closes itself off here. So we do have a privacy door while being six inches away from your kid sleeping right here. 
um, which is uh, probably nice to have. Really have kind of, you know, that makes almost four separate sleeping areas. I say three guest cabins, you know, in all honesty, it's more like four with this uh, single berth here. Really nice space, actually. I, I would love that. About a queen size, you know, definitely a full, probably more like a queen size berth there. Plenty of storage. Nice Samsung flat screen TV. I love this space. Totally works. Works very well. And back here we have the head with the stall shower. So put it in here, show you the shower. Really nice. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour of the Targa 46. If you have any questions about the 46 or any of the other Targa models, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is right below the video.